Here's our haircut. By the way, this is a courtesy of uh, Michael Myers. Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. So I'm revisiting the sink here that I usually have to unclog about twice a year. And uh, we're gonna try something a little different today. I've got a new plug system I want to uh, try out. Um, so I don't use the bathroom. And the person that does use this bathroom, they've got a screen here. And I'm thinking that that screen may be uh, causing um, more of a problem than it's doing good. Reason being is by the time you have soap in here or toothpaste uh, and you're running water, the fine mesh screen there kind of clogs up. Not only is it just gross, but uh, I think what's happening is it's causing a slow drain. And in that case, the drain is, you know, kind of clogging itself slowly as time goes on. Um, and what we really want is more of a free flow water. So um, we're going to take this out. And this is really is pretty gross stuff here. And we're going to measure um, the space, the hole there. And uh, then I'll show you the new drain plug that I just got. All right, so I'm getting approximately one and eighth inch across. So we'll make a note of that when we put our new plug in. So in the mill today, we got our new uh, train plug. Here's a look at it. I'm going to take it out of the package here. Here's the instructions. They're not, uh, uh, they're pretty, pretty clear, I guess. So if your drain size is um, 1.06 to 1.18, then you just put the plug in by itself. If you have a sink, opening that is 1.18 to 1.34 of an inch then you use that uh, rubber the smallest rubber I guess so uh, adapter washer which is this one here the bigger the sink opening gets uh, the bigger the uh, adapter or the uh, silicone rubber piece that you use Number four is the big one here. Number three. Number two. Uh, I've measured my opening here. I'm running at uh, one and an eighth inch. Okay, so mine's one and an eighth. So I'm going to go with this first one here. I think one and an eighth would be uh, 1.12 inch. If it's one and a quarter inch, then it would be 1.25, I guess. So we're not going to need the rubber. Just going to go straight stopper. Uh, we've got a cover here. This is supposed to be uh, silver and it is. It's really nice looking. Now there is a piece of rubber here that uh, is in place. Okay, so it's really nice looking. Now this is the pop-up. We'll see that in a minute hopefully. So all we've got to do is just drop it in place like that. And then whenever we want to uh, drain the water, just pop it up like that. Um, I could put one of those rubber seals in. Uh, but according to their calculation, I don't need one, so let's check it out. Yeah, it seems to be holding. It seems to be holding well. All right, let's release it. Okay, perfect. Works just like uh, it said. It uh, says that it does. Uh, now this is a uh, hair catcher as well. There's also rubber right up here. Yeah, this will catch hair. I guess we could try that out. Let's go see if we can find some hair. All right, we're back now. It's probably pretty good. We're going to uh, put some hair. So I've got some, I've got some hair. We're going to put. Let's 
Let's cut it a little more here, spread it out. I'm gonna do this off camera, I'll get right back. Okay, so here's our haircut. By the way, this is a courtesy of uh, Michael Myers. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in the sink. And let's uh, pop the sink. So we'll see how well it did at catching it. Of course, this never even went down here. So uh, all we do is just take it out and look for it. And you can see it right there trapped. And we can clean that out. And it looks like it caught just about all of it. Look at that. Yeah, that's all. That's all of it. So, uh, yeah, we're good. One thing I forgot to mention, when removing hair, see the threads there? You can actually uh, turn this off if you need to remove this silver piece, chrome piece. Uh, that will help you get the hair out that may be caught way inside there wrapped around the cylinder. Um, I didn't do that, didn't really need to do that. And uh, tried to unscrew this, but it's pretty tight on there. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. If you need to unscrew it, it is designed so that you can, uh, you know, unthread it there. And then once you're finished uh, removing the hair, tighten it back on that uh, gold cylinder. That's it for the... I don't even, don't even know the name, but the sink filter plug. I'll leave a link below if you're interested in this. I think it's going to be a real game changer. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Until next time, have a nice day. Stay tuned.